We're eager to visit with you about anything that matters to you. We've covered the basics that you are more than you usually recognize. You are the creator of your own experience moment by moment. And so is everyone else. And we want to lay one platform. It's an uncomfortable statement for some who haven't thought about it much before. But as the day unfolds, we think that you'll feel the harmony of it as your understanding begins to bubble back to the surface, as you begin to remember all of this stuff that you have known for a very long time. In this universe, in this physical time space reality in which you are focused, there is not an already decided right and wrong about stuff. And you get the sense of that as you watch different families or cultures or civilizations making different decisions about different things about what they deem is right and wrong. And they give each other such a hard time. In other words, the confusion about that, the argument over what's right and wrong and the determination to make those that are doing what you consider to do the wrong thing, stop doing it. And their decision to get you to stop doing the wrong thing. It is at the heart of the discord, not only that you have with each other, but the tug of war that you generate within yourself, which is really the only one that we're talking about ever is that tug of war between you and who you really are and all that you've become. And so today for a little while, rather than thinking so much about Esther used to say to us, well, I wouldn't do that. I would never do that. And it took us a while to make Esther understand that that's sort of an irrelevant thing. Just because she would never do that does not mean that she gets to stand in that place of I'm right about this because, oh, that place will bite you. When you stand in a place where you are sure that you are right, you do so many irrational things that work against yourself and against the common good, against what you're really reaching for in terms of the harmony that you seek. So, rather than trying so hard to keep defining this right and wrong thing it's like so you're stopped at the stoplight because it's red and you know that's right you don't go on a red light unless the exceptions you're turning right and there's nobody coming blah 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 but or unless there's a sign posted that says under no conditions will you turn right or not but you know the rules and you've decided that you're not going to break this rule and then you're doing something else that you knew was right because you remembered it from your driver's education training that when you are stopped, when you stop, you look in your rear view mirror to see what's happening behind you. So here's a red light and you're stopping, but you also do that other right thing. You look in your rear view mirror and you see that the 18 wheeler that's barreling in behind you apparently doesn't see the red light and he's not going to stop. So what do you do? Well, if you're an uprighteous citizen, you sit there and you let him cream you because that would be the right thing to do. Or do you follow the path of least resistance? Do you use your own ability to evaluate? And do you allow this broader perspective being that is really you feed you the impulse to always keep you going with the flow, with the well-being that you seek and with the love and kindness that you are? And so we know that's a ridiculous, really a ridiculous analogy because it's only those who don't pay attention who would not move out of the way of that. But there's a whole lot of things that you don't move out of the way of because you've practiced being in the way of them because somebody has taught you that being in the way of that is the right thing to do. And we say, there is a source energy infinite intelligence absolute loving perspective of you at all times calling you gathering you as one of the cooperative components to cooperate with the well-being of your own life but you got to be in the mood <laughs> you got to be in the vibrational atmosphere you can be so resistant to your own guidance system and when you are then we know you want to blame the circumstances you want to blame the others and we don't want you to blame anyone we want you to 
know what you don't want and know what you do want and understand that when we talk about the path of least resistance we're talking about the path of most allowance and when we're talking about the path of most allowance we're talking about the path of you allowing yourself to be the most of what life all that you've lived has caused you to be and we also want to say in a very powerful way nothing less than that will do for you because there is no regression you can't live life which causes you to know what you don't want and ask for more and your inner being stand there in your vortex with what you've asked for focused upon what you've asked for and understanding it completely and the law of attraction responding to that point of view and all of the cooperative components being gathered to who you have become and you not be one of them and you feel good that's the biggest tension that you've got going on you have become so much that you are not allowing yourself to be and most of the reason that you don't allow yourself to be what you've become is because you are arguing for the limitations that you learned when you were little or yesterday <laughs> this law of attraction thing this bag of marbles that you're carrying around it's complicated in the sense that a lot of things have affected what you put in there but it's simple in the fact that this bag of marbles has a relationship with this bag of marbles and the blending of the two is what the bliss of life really is it's what you came to do you said I'll go I'll live I'll figure it out and I'll align with the whole of who I am and I will be a powerful caller together of things that feel good for anybody that's in the vicinity but not one of you said I'll go out there and I'll sniff it out I'll find out who's doing the wrong stuff and I'll get after them and I'll clean this mess up by making them stop doing that stuff that is wrong and we say with all of the love that we can get Esther to muster in her voice how's that working out <laughs> so we're eager to talk with you about whatever it is you want to talk about what do you want to talk about some things standing on your chair does not help just chill just chill just know that you got stuff on your mind and we know what it is and we know what the path of least resistance is to get there so begin right here if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next